What's going on people? Welcome back to another John Sinclair TV back again with another content to you to enjoy. And we're gonna talk about Federico Chiesa and Stanislav Lobotka as well. And before we get on to those two, please make sure you sub to the channel. Also smash the like button as well. If you'd like to super chat, use for the thanks option. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. And also if you'd like to become a member, it's just 99p and also I've got an announcement to make as well regarding a new competition um, for winning a voucher worth £50. But all that we'll discuss in the future. Now, I want to talk about Federico Chiesa. And according to reports, or a couple of journalists and uh, multiple reports are saying, and Newcastle United are after him as well, also Aston Villa. But Chiesa don't want to go to Aston Villa. That leaves us a one choice, and that is with Newcastle United. And Federico well, is 25 years old, and he's been at Juventus for three seasons, two years on loan from Fiorentina, and it costs around 60 million quid. He's got a market value of around 35 million quid. Juve wants to get him off the books because he's got a terrible injury record, and it's just so frustrating. He's a damn good player when he's not injured, man. But his injury record is absolutely shocking. And a lot of people, I don't think I haven't researched that at all whatsoever. But I'm gonna go for his injury record as well. I'm not gonna go for it all, but I'm just gonna tell you what he's had since he's been the Fiorentina and UV. I'll give you the important ones. He's had like um, a cruciate ligament damage, rupture, I meant to say, for 269 days. That's 10 months, by the way, people, close to 10 months, yeah? And he's also had knee problems, He's also had muscle fatigue, fatigue, sorry, I meant to say, knee problems. He's had like a bicep femoris muscle. I don't even know what that means, by the way, I'm not going to lie. Ankle injuries. He's been out of like 269 days, 15 days, a month, 13 days. And Federico Corkias has got a terrible injury record, by the way. Yeah. To be honest with you, I won't keep Miguel Amir on. I can't lie. But people's going to say, get him, get him, get him, he's world class, yeah? But I don't want an injury prone player joining Newcastle United, I really don't. Because we, we had enough of them before. And it's a maximum injured as well, most of the time as well. He's been out for quite a while too, yeah? We don't want another wing that's going to be out, do you know what I mean? We need someone who's going to come in and play minimum 30 games every season. And for 35 million quid, for Chiesa, I think that represents good value as well. But the reason is that because he's got a poor injury record and you will um, to sell him off the books. Yeah, so you can save some money. My opinion, great player, but it's a no for me. So I say to you, v, keep him. Just keep him. Please keep him. Because at the end of the day, right, we've got enough wingers at the club, if I'm honest with you. We've got Gordon, ESM, and Miggy. So, Make of it what you will. And Elliot Hans can play in the wing as well, if it needs to be as well. So we've got a cover for that as well. But we definitely need another winger. But in my opinion, Federico Chiesa is not the answer. And I can't lie because I watched another podcast well, Lee Gonner, and he said exactly the same thing. Keep him. And I'm going to say the same. But we do take Federico Chiesa for 35 million quid. But you know what you're going to get? A lot of injuries. Great player, a lot of injuries. Leave in the comments section downstairs, people. Yeah. The other one I want to talk about as well, it's a bit um, complicated, is Stanislav Lobotka for Napoli. The guy has won a league title, the Slovakian international. He is a really, really, really good player. He's got a market value of £50 million. Pound, yeah. And he has, he's been linked with a move to Saudi Arabia as well. Now, this one is, and I heard reports are saying that they go and buy him. Newcastle United have him on a season long loan as well. So, whether that'll work, I have absolutely no idea. They were going to do the same with Ruben Nevers. People on social media are saying, you know, they were signed Nevers, 47 million quid, and then Newcastle have him on a two year loan deal. But well, that never got, the, never got off the ground. And if I'm honest with you, I don't think this will neither. But the Bocca um, is a cracking player. I love this kid. He's got a bit of Iniesta and Xavi about him as well. He controls the tempo, he loves to keep the ball moving as well, and he keeps it. And not only that as well, 
I mean, he doesn't hardly lose the ball. And that's what I love about the midfield, yeah? This guy is hard to press and he gets out of it as well. And he is absolutely fantastic. And he's just an amazing, amazing player. And he really is. And Napoli would love to keep him. But at the same time, I just don't think, um, he, well, how do I pull it? I think he um go to Saudi. But I hope he does because he's a really, really, really good player. He really, really is. And... Okay, I'll do something. Lost. And, yeah, they can wait two minutes. <laughs> So, yeah, I was going to say 50 million quid would be worth. And can you honestly see him going to Saudi and then Newcastle take him on the season long loan? I can't see it, to be fair. And if they do, we have a season long loan. I think it'd be brilliant for Newcastle United. I mean, he's a, he's a different type of player. We had Emery like that as well. And I like him. So, yeah, I mean, um, would you take La Boca for Napoli? I think he's a really, really good player. And I do love Serie A, as you know. And Chiesa, cracking player, but too many injuries for me. they would be a no. The Boca, yes, please. And according to reports as well, with James Madison, the situation as well, I reckon he'll probably end up going to Tottenham. I think that's called a little bit. He would have been the highest paid player in Newcastle if we do kill him. They won't budge on the 60 million valuation on this player. And it's going to be really difficult now for Newcastle to make that move, in my opinion. If he comes, he comes. If he don't, he don't. I think he ended up going to Tottenham, if I'm honest. But in my opinion, when he left on his contract, 60 million quid, I don't think he's worth the money. 40 million quid and no more than that as well. And we're still waiting news on Tenali confirmation that the, the, he's signed for Newcastle United on a six-year deal. And... I think that's a cracking piece of business as well. Um, Fabrizio Romano said it's done and dusted. They haven't announced it yet. And when it does, I should be doing a clip of Sandro Tonali as well. And we will be speaking about that in the latest on him as well. And what the media in Italy has been saying as well. And I can tell you something now, it is not good. Not good at all. So guys, if you like the video, like what you see, please like. Give it a subscribe and also if you like the super chat use the thanks option and if you'd like to uh, donate as well not donate become a member it's just 99p and would you take but Labaka? would you take kiesa also as well are you worried about james madison and how delighted are you with tonali for me personally i think it's a cracking piece of business there as well when it comes so guys thanks for watching the latest video and um, have a fantastic day wherever you decide to do. It's beautiful out here, the day. It's 28 Celsius in lovely Bristol. That's why I'm doing it outside today. And until then, guys, what should we doing? Until then, as always, are we the lads?